can beat you in the Kansas City lineup. Mike Sweeney. Swings and misses. He struck him out. We started in Catholic Athletes for Christ to provide a Catholic sports ministry presence. Our mission is to serve Catholic athletes in the practice of their faith and to allow athletes to share the gospel in and through athletics. When I tow the rubber, that is when I'm in my element, and that is when I'm using my talent that he gave me at the best of my ability, and that's when I feel closest to him. I just kind of transitioned into the bullpen and went from being a long reliever, uh, throwing multiple innings, to what it is now where I come in and face possibly one hitter in a game. Um, and it, it's usually with the game on the line. And I'll have to get that guy out in that key situation to preserve the lead. Very high intensity job, um, a lot of pressure involved, and uh, I love it. This is such a long grind this season, and then you stack those seasons up to make a career. It's more than a marathon. And that's where my Catholic faith comes into place. Reading the Bible, getting up in the morning, saying, Our Father, Hail Mary, and a glory be, and going to the, you know, the table of the Lord um, and receiving communion. I think joining the Knights of Columbus is kind of the cherry on the top for me. You know, uh, complete my walk as a Catholic man. If you have God in your life, he can, he'll, he'll give you stuff that you can handle. For instance, he gave us Gracie. She was born with uh, chromosome disorders of the 16th and the 20th chromosome, and it's a very rare disorder. I mean, she's severely handicapped. She still has a uh, you know, feeding tube little, on a little bit of oxygen. She doesn't walk, doesn't talk, but she's well-loved and she loves back. We didn't think that we'd be able to, to handle her, but we've become stronger in our, in our faith because of little Gracie. Everything for me comes from my faith. That's the foundation of who I am. God has given all of us certain gifts, certain talents. Mine happened to be on the football field. And it's an honor for us to be able to take whatever gifts we have been given and then to share them in whatever way we can. And so to be a, a positive example of my faith, I think is a responsibility that I have. Through Catholic Athletes for Christ, we were invited down to National Park um, for the Papal Mass. My wife and myself and our three-week-old daughter at the time. It was an experience that I'll never forget. You can see the Holy Father coming and he's given blessings. He got about three rows away and one of the security guards looks, spots my daughter, goes back and, and whispers in his holiness's ear and he makes a beeline right to my daughter. Traces the sign of the cross on her forehead, leans over and gives her a kiss. It was an amazing, amazing experience. The Knights of Columbus has attracted men in all professions. And we're especially proud that we have uh, in our history members who like Floyd Patterson or Connie Mack or Vince Lombardi, uh, been great figures and leaders in athletics. I think it's most important to realize that a leader does not exist in the abstract, but is judged rather in the terms of what he does in a specific situation. Vince Lombardi, the most important thing was his Catholic faith. He was a daily communicant, one of the great members of the Knights of Columbus. And he constantly, you've seen pictures of him with the program rolled up in one hand, and he always had his left hand behind him. In his left hand, he always constantly had a pair of rosary beads praying the rosary. I think the, uh, the most inspiring thing about my grandfather's legacy to me personally was his priorities that he gave to his players. He said the three most important things in your life should be number one, your faith, number two, your family, and then number three, the Green Bay Packers. So I try to, try to keep those priorities in my life in the same manner. 
You know, I, I kind of look at it, you know, how does being a football coach help me be a better Catholic? Football is about fundamentals. It's really blocking and it's tackling and it's catching the football. And so how does that apply to me as a Catholic? There's fundamentals to our Catholic faith. You know, it's, it's the sacraments, it's going to church, it's receiving Eucharist, it's confession. There's all these things that are kind of the fundamentals of our faith. Sport informs faith and faith informs sport. I like to refer to St. Paul as being the first sports writer <laughs> um, because his epistles are so rich in this sporting imagery, running the race, being involved in a prize fight, staying in and winning the eternal crown. I mean, it's, it, that is really the essence of the theology of sports. Almost every athlete without exception that I know has a great sense of gratitude and indebtedness to John Paul II. He played soccer as a young man, was an avid skier, hiker, uh, camper, boater, loved all aspects of sport, but most importantly saw, saw sports as a way to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Signore Gesù Cristo, aiuta questi atleti ad essere testimoni del tuo amore. Aiutali ad essere sempre atleti dello Spirito per ottenere il tuo inestimabile premio, una corona che non affatisce e che dura in eterno.